I like being very optimistic when it comes to life because if you just stay on the negative side and be pessimistic the entire time, it can really take a toll on you mentally. So my outlook in life is generally good, is generally positive. But one thing I am is a realist and I don't like to sugarcoat and I don't like to always have the rose colored goggles on. I always feel their life gonna be life in. I always feel no matter how much money you have, no matter how humble you are, no matter how nice you are to the next person, life is going to happen to everyone. That's one thing we can 100% rely on. First of all, the only thing that's guaranteed to us is death. That's it. Life is not guaranteed. And that's just the reality of it. So when I see situations like the constant riots and looting that is going on in America, I don't see it getting any better, to be honest. I know there are a lot of people that once the the end of the tunnel to have a light. (laughs) I don't see that light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm a very generally positive person. But like I said, I'm a realist. Realistically, I do not see the light at the end of the tunnel. Not only for America, but for society in general. Because the more we learn, the more we know, the more we are more persuaded to fit for ourselves, right? It happens from the beginning of time, like hunter-gatherers, you know, they killed each other. Survival of the fittest is real. You would think the more we become more modern, the more we, as a society, becomes more united. You know, those very survival harsh tactics would diminish but i guess not i guess not because back then when i was young there were a couple of people you know a couple of bad people we already knew who to hang out with who our mothers don't want us to hang out with and we kind of stayed afar from them you know the ones that tend to not want to be categorized as a bad kid. The difference between back then and now is the fact that now kids have access to way more kids than they did before. Back then you had a couple of people, one, two, three, probably go into a store and try to steal, you know, a piece of candy here or there, a soda here and there. But now, <laughs> Now you're having mobs running in quick, 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 and running out. Now you have about 20, 25, 50, 100 people running in at once in order to steal. And when the pandemic hit, people thought, oh, it's because we are struggling or they are struggling or people you know, don't have jobs, don't have income. That's why they go towards stealing and looting and all of that. But we are three years out. What started maybe because of that is now the norm, unfortunately. And now we are seeing this on a regular. Not saying people are still not hungry because definitely inflation is killing everybody not saying people have jobs because people are getting laid off left and right not saying people can't afford their rent because rent mortgage property taxes are all skyrocketing but definitely saying that people now are doing it because they can it's because of tolerance The government is tolerating it. There are no harsh consequences to what they're doing. 
unfortunately, a lot of people who do these acts are getting a slap on the wrist and sent right back out. And once you continuously do that to a majority of the people, criminals who are just going in and taking business merchandises, who are destroying businesses, they don't care if you're a big business, they don't care if you're a small business, they don't care. They are just doing it because why? Because they can, and it is sad. Unfortunately, a lot of these acts are done by young kids are done by teenagers. Kids are so impressionable and they get the thrill out of one, doing what everybody else is doing. And I feel like that's how TikTok has exploded because if you really, especially in the beginnings, still now too, but especially in the beginning era of TikTok, you would see the constant same dances, same songs, that are played over and over and over by different people. There were no originality in the content. And that's, I guess, what really turned me off of TikTok and made me not really get on the platform. But kids are very impressionable. They want to fit in. They want to do what everybody else is doing. And unfortunately, a lot of the things they end up doing gets them a thrill. That thrill of, oh, let me rush and get this, even if they don't need the merchandise. Like in Philly, where I think 50 kids, teenagers, are arrested. Authorities are investigating major looting, they say, that was coordinated as criminals hit several stores. More than 50 arrests, a massive group of looters, they say, ransacking and stealing from multiple stores. It came on the same night of peaceful protests when charges against an officer were dropped. And authorities say these were not protesters. They say they're criminals who used the protests as cover. Stephanie Ramos in Philadelphia tonight. Tonight, the Philadelphia Police Department is scouring social media videos like these, searching for suspects after a night of looting by criminals who police say took advantage of peaceful protests. There was a burglary. They looted the store at Lululemon. A coordinated caravan of vehicles going from store to store, looting businesses in multiple neighborhoods over an eight-hour period. Up to 100 teens and adults ransacking stores like this Foot Locker. It is now closed and guarded by police. We've made 52 arrests already and, and counting, and um, they're going to have to pay a price. This is not shoplifting. This is, this is looting. This is riot. Police say the crime spree was coordinated over social media and had nothing to do with an earlier peaceful protest seen here by demonstrators angry over a judge's dismissal earlier in the day of murder charges against a police officer. Police saying they used those peaceful protests as cover to commit crimes. This had nothing to do with the protest. What we had tonight was a bunch of criminal opportunists take advantage of a situation and make an attempt to destroy our city. This latest rash of looting coming on the same day. Target announced they're closing nine stores in New York, California, Oregon, and Washington State because of theft and organized retail crime. David, the Apple store behind me is one of many stores that was looted last night. Tonight, you can see they've covered up their windows with black drapes. Police say among those they arrested, there were three teens and they recovered at least one gun. This investigation is expected to take several days. David. An unsettling night there in Philadelphia. Because they went into different businesses. I know one of the big ones was Apple to steal the merchandises in there. Even if they don't need a new phone, they do it just because they can. They do it because of the thrill. And where do we go from there? I'm not gonna say it's the parents' fault 100% because there are some kids who are raised in great households. There are some who has both parents in their house. There are some who are able to financially be able to purchase one, two, five, ten iPhones and not bat an eye. They can afford the luxuries that others can't, but they still decide to go and join the crowd. Honestly, we all did some 
very sus stuff as kids. Maybe not to this magnitude of going into stores over and over and over again and looting, taking other people's property. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but call me a wimp because when I was a kid, I was more scared of my parents than of the police. Nowadays, I don't know who these kids are scared of. The parents? No. The police? Seems like definitely not because they get a thrill out of juting the police, trying not to get caught. And guess what? The ones who did not get caught in this looting riot, they're going to go back out and do it again. Whoever planned this, and if that person didn't get caught, they're going to plan another one because they enjoy that thrill and also they're not going to get a big consequence for uh, for doing this even if they catch them if they don't have anything on them that is that belongs to the um the stores they're going to let them go and guess what they're gonna keep on doing it over and over and over again they have no fear. And unfortunately, because the US media is wild, wild spread everywhere in the world, other kids in other countries are going to catch on and try to do the same thing. Not saying there never was any wrongdoings in other countries. There definitely was. It's just the fact that our media, everybody watches you, you the US, so... Um, they're going to look at it and be like, oh, wow, they really doing that over there? Bet. And they're going to try to do it. Everybody's government is going to be different, so they're going to handle it their way. But if I'm an outsider, a foreigner, looking at the media, watching the media of the U.S., and seeing that this is continuously happening every Damn near every single day or weekly. I'm going to think, okay, these people definitely are not being persecuted. Um, there's no consequence of doing it. This is the norm. They going to want to do it just to get the thrill. They going to want to do it. They are really monkey see, monkey do. But that's just one portion. Adults are in it too. Those organized crimes, those are more organized than kids. Kids would just go get up and do whatever. But the organized crimes that are going on is crazy. And they are making the organizers more rich. They're making them feel like they have more power to continuously do this in their community, in other people's community. And it's sick and it's sad. I'm trying to figure out where is the U.S. going from here. Because I do not see the light at the end of the tunnel at all. Just with society in general, with media, it's scary. And like I said, I like to be positive. But also, I have to, have to be realistic. I have to. And seeing... Acts like this happen all the time. And this is, you know, on different scales. It could be 50, 100 students. Students. Well, they're teenagers, so they should be students. 50, 100 teenagers going in and looting various stores that you have families walking around. You have couples walking around. You out minding your business one day and yet you see a swarm of people just running in breaking glass snatching pushing making sure that they get away as fast as possible in your city so we have that going on and then we have the little ones that people are breaking into homes like why are you stealing things that you didn't buy People, doesn't matter if you're in the inner city, if you're in the suburbs, if you're in a single family home, if you're in an apartment, 
it does not matter because the consequences are very low and minimal they will do whatever they want to do in order for them to hit a lick and this really has well not this instant particularly but just overall looking at the the crime the increased crime that is going on this is not a society i would want to raise kids upon i cannot ensure adequate safety upon any kids that i bring into this world it's not realistic i wish the world was better it's just not I do not want to pour blood, sweat, and tears into raising a child just for them to be malicious. Not because of my doing, but because they see other kids are snatching and grabbing, so they want to do it too at 15, 13. Not realizing at a certain point in your life when you start to turn to adulthood, what you were doing as a kid can ruin your life. And to a lot of kids, teens, they don't realize that until it's too late after they've committed the acts. They realize it's too late. This will really destroy their future or rearrange their future. They could end up in prison. It's sad to see how kids are not being disciplined and being allowed to act this way and like i said it's not only just the u.s because in haiti a lot of the riots a lot of the burning of tires and cars that is going on is is done by the young ones kids are really really lost they are lost they don't want to listen to parents they don't want to listen to the elders They are really lost. And having social media fueling this fire, broadcasting, okay, we doing this and it's okay because we're not getting caught or we're getting caught and it's just a slap on the wrist. It's not helping. It's not. It's just putting gasoline to the fire. So it's so sad to see All of these teenagers doing this over and over and over and over again. And then you have their siblings, their cousins, their niece, nephews that are younger than them. Looking to see, looking at them to see what they're doing, thinking it's okay, and just continuing the cycle. That's that's the bad part. And unfortunately, parents can't discipline anymore nowadays. You can't whoop your kid, especially in public. Or if you do, and they decide to call the police on you because you disciplined them, the authorities are going to come after you instead of letting you parent. You can't parent anymore properly in the States. You just can't. And it's very unfortunate because kids need discipline. I 100% believe in discipline. Because once you don't have that structure to make sure they are aligned properly, that's when they feel like they can do anything. That's when they feel like they're big and bad. And it's heartbreaking to see your loved ones when you know they just have that naive mentality. <laughs> Can't do anything because you talk to them over and over again, but they have they have that naive mentality. Like they don't wanna listen. You wanna tell them, yo, but when you get twenty six, when you get twenty eight, when you get thirty, when you get thirty five, you're gonna look back and be like, Why did I do this at this age? And that's where the blaming gonna come. It's like, oh, my parents didn't discipline me when I was young. Um, you, they couldn't, unfortunately. And if they did, you were so busy to tell on them. 
because that's what it is telling them and run away try to avoid discipline all of that i'm not saying it's everybody's kid because it's not but you got to understand examples in life goes a long way for kids because they don't know any better it is up to the guardians in the child's life to make sure they are on the right and narrow path do something decent for society or in society in general because if we continue to not discipline our kids when they are young and just allowing them to do whatever they feel because they feel like it, the next generations is going to be hell. I'm not saying this is the start because looting, robbing, all of that has always been a problem in society. This is not the start. This is just a continuation. But over time, as years and decades and centuries go by, it gets worse and worse. That's just the reality of it. So now we have these poor, poor employees in these stores getting killed for merchandise, getting trampled on, getting things snatched out of their hands, getting beaten on. They just went to clock in, do their nine to five, get their check, go pay their bills, go back safely to their families, and they can't even do that. So if discipline does not start when you're young and having good examples in your life or in the child's life to show them the right path, there is no light at the end of the tunnel, to be honest. There isn't. This cycle is not going to stop, unfortunately is going to continue it's continuing it's scary i don't want to be an adult fearing me going to the store to buy orange juice and yet people want to run in and loot get as much food as they can and run out i don't want to fear that for my well right now i live in dubai so I, right now i don't have to worry about that but i have family siblings parents back in the States that I think about daily on their everyday errands that they have to do at home or do in their community. So that's a constant, constant worry for me. And waking up, like I said, almost every day, seeing stuff like this is exhausting. It's exhausting, it's scary, it's stressful, it's annoying. Where do we go from here? The way all of these acts are doing with so many people involved, there won't be enough jail cells to put everyone. The laws are very relaxed. Too many people are doing it at once. It's not one or two people now. It's 50, 100 people at a time. Also, the amount of law enforcers that are on the ground is not enough because, of course, nobody wants to be a cop in 2023. Too many liabilities because a lot of the time it's not even worth it. You put your life on the line for laws that, yeah, it kind of help. It protects you kind of, but a lot more things are going to happen to you while you're on duty because... The laws are relaxed. Seeing this over and over again in different parts of the world too, like I said, it's, it's scary to know this is where society is heading. Now, I'm not living in fear, but at the same time, I definitely have to look at reality. I truly wish discipline was never looked down upon because there's a difference between discipline and abuse. I really wish discipline was not looked down upon as it is now in 2023. If there's no discipline from the start, it gets chaotic. But I do hope we find a solution to get these kids back on the right path. Even though I don't think there's going to be, I feel like, unfortunately, this is a lost cause. That the rat is out of the bag. They got a taste of 
looting, of running away from the cop, of disrespecting law enforcement. So I feel like this is going to be the norm, unfortunately. And innocent people are going to be hurt. Innocent people are going to be affected because the job is going to get lost. Like a lot of stores are leaving certain areas. A lot of stores are leaving U.S. in general because they're not making any profits. They're losing way more than what they're making or what they're losing does not equate to what they're making. Lives are going to be destroyed, taken for careless acts. Everything from cars breaking to home evasion to random stabbings in parks and shootings at malls and all of the things that could have been more regulated are just relaxed now. It's like, yeah, it's truly the wild, wild west. I was just getting tired of seeing this when I woke up this morning and seen this news about the looting for no reason whatsoever. Absolutely no reason. It's just because they can get away with it. That's all it is. So when I woke up and seen this, I was like, oh my goodness. Yup. That's my birth control. (laughs) Yup. I do not want my child to be raised in societies like this. And unfortunately, it's going to spread worldwide. I don't care how safe a country is. Bad people, they could get on flights and go somewhere else and hide from their crime there and start crimes or other places like it's too easy now eventually those bad peoples are going to do their dirt that's just the reality of it 